In 2008-2009, sugar consumption in India touched great heights, 23.3 million tons. Production of sugar, however, has only managed to touch 14.53 million tons. The shortfall in meeting the total sugar requirement will be the sugar industry's biggest challenge in the days to come. The situation arises when uh, the farmer is not able to give sufficient water to his crop. Uh, this will result in decrease in yield of the crop per acre or per the land holding size and uh, the factory is not able to get sufficient sugarcane to reach its production target. Sugarcane cultivators are at the heart of the challenges facing the sugar industry. Farmers like those in the Godavari Basin regions of Maharashtra, their cultivation habits have largely been traditional and untouched by modern methodologies. Over the years, these redundant habits have led to the wastage of precious resources like water. Traditional methods of sugarcane have actually ruined the soil fertility, loss of water. There was tremendous loss of water. Excess water application was there and uh, more than 3,500 millimeters of water be was being used. Per unit of water use, the yield was very poor. It was less than even 60 tons per hectare. This low yield has led to a drop in farmers' incomes as well as a cause for them to shift from sugarcane to less water-intensive crops. So it is always a challenge to the industry that how it will be able to get uh, sufficient sugarcane to meet its production targets. In 2006, the WWF initiated a project in the Godavari Basin region, especially for sugarcane cultivators. Especially over the last four or five years, we have recognized uh, that unless we take and work with the agriculture sector, we are not going to succeed with the water conservation mandate. The WWF project is partnered by technical and research agencies like Walmi and Napscon. It has developed a series of best management practices or BMPs that farmers can easily incorporate into their cultivation techniques. You'll find from the time that the uh, field is being sown, the time of the seeding, to the time of production and then extraction, there's an entire cycle that is built up in a way that makes it makes sugarcane a less of a burden on the overall environment, both in terms of better use of water, more productive use of water, and better use in terms of the way sugar is going to be produced in the end. In the 48 months since the WWF project has begun, there has been a positive trend in the yield of sugarcane. Profits for the sugarcane farmer translate into good news for the sugar industry. This will help us when I am getting a more sugar from the same crop, I am obviously going to be paying the farmers more. The farm Plus, when the farmer is going to sell more, he is going to earn more. Sustainability of the cultivation techniques prescribed by WWF's BMPs also ensure that crucial resources like water do not get depleted easily. This is a challenge for biodiversity around the world, but it is also a challenge for business, because unless we find a more sustainable way to grow these crops, we won't be able to grow them in the future. And that's why WWF is working with businesses in India and elsewhere to find a more sustainable way to produce these commodities, to find a way to produce sugarcane while using less water. A synergy between cultivators, facilitators like the WWF and the sugar industry can go far in boosting sugar production. The key is sustainability and a commitment to preserve the natural resources that support the industry. There is still time to turn the tide for increased profits and long-term gains. The opportunity is there for the taking.